All right, so this is a demo of my work in progress. It's a, a superset of an SCOM driver that I'm writing to control C-Star. Not only can it control C-Star, but it's also a scheduler and a mosaic uh, runner. So um, I'll show you how this is done. So, and all done without using the C-Star app. So this is Delenium. So it's right now pointing at, um, telling me my C-Star is at pointing at Venus. In fact, I've showed a demo before where I can have multiple uh, C-stars uh, all, all controlled here. But uh, for this, I just make it simple. So I'm just controlling just one. So let's, uh, let's talk to go to the moon. Let's go there. Finding object. So it's actually moving there. It will go to the moon. It, it won't find it because it's daytime and there's no stars. So, but uh, you get the idea. But now I'm going to show you how to schedule this. So, all right. Let's see where is that. All right. So. Let's get started. So let's see what my old schedule has. Here's my old schedule. It's got stopped. It does a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to re read this all over. So let's create a new one. So I'm going to create a new schedule. There we go. So let's start by telling to, let's say wait. Let's say wait an hour, two hours, but for now it's wait for wait. Let's say wait for 10 seconds. Give you an idea, I can wait for how long before the target come up, or I can also wait for local time. But let's say wait for 10 seconds. So right here is waiting for 10 seconds. So that's my first step. So you notice my schedule now is the first step is wait for 10 seconds. So next thing I want to, let's do a mosaic. So mosaic right here is asking, let's say I want to go to Mercury. I don't really care about getting the location. I want it to find for me. And uh, let's do that. Uh, let's go to Mercury. Let's do here. So Mercury is here. So I'm going to go there. It's uh, what I do, sync it. Sync it there. All right. So by syncing, so I know the location of Mercury. So what I'm going to tell it to go is I go, go to Mercury, I tell it to, uh, the whole session time, let's do 100 seconds. I can do whatever I want. And Mosaic, let's say um, it's a two by two. Let's say it's a two by three. What the heck? Two by three Mosaic. And the whole session time is 100 seconds. But again, it's, it's, it's for demonstration. So right here is telling to use um, light filter, light pollution filter. And uh, let's do that. So when I do, now my schedule will say it's wait for 10 seconds and do a mosaic Mercury. And now look at the RA index position is automatically filled because I, because I synced that location. So now let's say I want to autofocus. Let's say to autofocus. So I want to add autofocus and we try twice. Let's add that to my schedule. So right here, wait, mosaic, and all focus. All right, so let's go for the next target. So what do I do? Where do I want to go? Let's go to Altair. Altair. Object. Sync. So add another one. So that's Altair. Notice the name, you can name anything you want. That's why I have Kai in front. And in this case, it's one normal um, target in of mosaic. So just do one by one. One by one essentially is that target. And uh, let's do it for 500 seconds. And I can, let's not use the light, light pollution filter. 
and let's do that. So there's my, my schedule. I wait for 10 seconds, do Mercury, autofocus, and do Altair. So after that, I want to shut down. Let's do that. So, so my full schedule now, it tell to wait 10 seconds, to Mercury, autofocus, Altair, and then shut down. That's my whole schedule. So I'm ready to go. So when I do that, it'll just tell it to go start scheduling. Uh, actually not. Some mosaic is simply a shortcut to just do a simple mosaic and that's my whole schedule. But not since I have a whole schedule for tonight, I tell it to go schedule. Tell us start. Run scheduler started. There we go. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Blah blah blah. Run scheduler started. Finding object. Okay. Now that ten second finish. Now it's actually doing that. So actually going to that target. As you can see it's actually moving. And it's. Not smart, so it's just actually doing a fall all the way around. I guess the first one was uh, Mercury, right? That's we took Mercury. Long way through. There we go. It's getting there. You can hear the order sound if you this recording can record it. There we go. So now it's going to plate solve, look for Mercury. Of course, it's going to fail because it's daytime, but you get the idea. So it's going to start Mercury, do that two by three. So the status, let's see, let's see the status is here. So it's running, so it's doing Mercury. It's going to two by three, so it's going to start and it's going to keep on doing and it's going to look for stars. I'll wait for the first plate solve fail, then you can get an idea and then let's see what happens. It's looking. Anyway, uh, let's not wait. Okay, that's pretty much it. So all the other commands are, I mean, whatever I can find and do, it's all here. Um, so you can do the all focus, uh, like the, the filter change and stuff. So let's try to stop. I don't want to wait. Okay, stop. Okay, so that's it. It's so good. So the schedule has stopped. So you make sure it's stopped. There you go. It stopped. That's it. That's the end demo. Bye.